Hi everybody. I've only done a couple of 3D printed videos. Uh, um, I was trying to get to grips with this 123D design program. Do you know I'm really good with technology. Anyway, I did copy one of my small buildings off my railway. And um, this is the mark. Uh, it normally takes me a couple of prints to make them any good. So this is the Mark 1. You can't see much because I don't know if you know anything about 3D printing. But all this stuff on the outside is support because I made that, that roof on that part of the building overhanging. Hold on, let me get something to print, point with. Yeah, so all this material here breaks away and you're left with um, the flat surface of the building. Now I made a mistake, if you can see that door there, that, that door, those windows are solid. Now the, all the windows I put in the building, I made them like normal windows, see-through, so they look like I had panes of glass in. But that was a mistake because it's built support. Because the building is so small, what I found before is when I take that support off, um, it breaks the windows, breaks the small stuff. So in the future, I'll do them like this and you know, I can paint the windows black, which is what it would look realistically. The house would be dark inside. It's just finishing the roof off there. That's a chimney, it's popping up on the other side. Now that is, um, there's two windows there and another window there it's because it's built all that support. So I'll do another video after I've cleaned all the support off and you can see what it's come out like. The tapered roof came up really well actually, it looks like, I wondered how it was going to do that. If you can see it's got a slight slant on it and it's done it like, like sheets of tiles. But as I saw in one of the other videos, this chap saying that um, so I'm printing so small, I think my tip on my hot end is too big for the size of stuff I'm printing. So I'm going to experiment with a smaller tip. What that means is you can print better detail because you're using a smaller tip. As long as you adjust it in your program on your slicer. But um, considering I've never used... I've only printed one other thing with the 123 design and that was just a flat bit of plastic. This is my first effort at doing a building. Now this, this here is delaminating. Now I'm up in my loft and it's quite cold. And I have made a box here, which is gonna sit over the top, which I made for doing my prints in ABS. This is PLA plastic on here. I think it's just a little bit too cold for it up here. Um, so that box sits over the top and it keeps the, the, the temperature around the printer. Um, there's no fluctuations in, all the temperature warms up inside the box. And the other problem I think I'm having, if you can see at the back there the wheel, it keeps snagging. I've got to make a new, uh, so I bought this machine second hand, I've got to make a new uh, holder for the, for the, the roll of filament in the back. So you have that filament goes, if you don't know anything about 3D printing, you have that filament there, a bit like welding wire, and it feeds in to what's called your hot end, which if you can see it under there, and you've got a tip there and it squeezes the plastic through there. Um, so it come on, focus. So it, it extrudes now you can hear that clicking noise there, that's another problem I'm having, is the, uh, there's a drive wheel in here, See, there's a drive wheel in there, and it's slipping every now and again. Now whether that's to do with the speed I'm printing at, I'm still new to this, so I'm learning. It's just finishing off now. It is pretty amazing. And I bought this just to make the models for my railway. 
And that's taken four hours, 40 minutes. And it's just finishing off. I'm pretty confident it would be pretty good, I think. But the, it's getting the getting these supports off, you've got to be really careful. I'm thinking that I, you know, you use the pliers, and I, around these window areas, I think I might use the Dremel just to see if I can trim them out. But you can't drill any of this stuff as soon as you you pierce the the, the proper mould, um, it it starts to delaminate. It's just finishing the chimney off. That's it. Well, I'll, uh, let's say this is part one, and I'll do. I'll show you a picture of it on the computer, and I'll show you what the model looks like when I've cleaned all the support off. So, if we say that this building I'm building is a copy of the Jackson Transfer Station to go on the railway, it's a, a fishing a fishing depot yard on the. Uh, so you all the fishes go through the gutting process and then they um, box it all up and the train comes past and you have a, a platform here and they transfer everything over. Anyway, that's part one of my 3D printing video. Okay, bye fellas.